Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market, and today I have another viewer consignment. So this was sent in by a viewer subscriber to the channel, to my channel. Um, they've sent their jewelry in to be unboxed live here on YouTube, and then to have their um, jewelry uh, sold in my through my auction. Um, this opportunity is available to anyone. Just reach out to me. My contact information is in the description box below. Um, I have not seen anything that's in here. Sometimes I'll see one or two pictures, sometimes a group shot, but, um, this particular one, I don't think that, I actually don't think we, we got there. So there's the box. It's heavy. It's a very heavy. So if you're interested in consigning, selling your collection or collections or anything like that, just reach out. And I'm excited to see what is in the box. I've got to get this light figured out. This, I don't like the way it looks <clears throat> through the camera. So let's go. If it's your first time here, we do jewelry unboxing, unbagging, occasionally we get jars, um, and if it's not your first time here, welcome back. I actually love this uh, dust bag. These actually will sell sometimes, so I'll probably list that in the auction too. All right, let's go. Okay. So first item out. Beautiful, huge mother of pearl. That's huge. Let's see. Dead gum, and I can't hold the thing straight. It's 925, so it is set with sterling, it appears. Yep, it's signed there. So, this is a beautiful artisan piece. This mother of pearl is massive. I mean, Massive, massive, and very heavy. <clears throat> All right, we have some earrings. So these say 925, but my suspicion is that they are not. I will test them, of course. But those are lapis lazuli stones, I think. Yeah, they're lapis lazuli. So I, I'm not suspecting these to be sterling with the way that is tarnished. That's like a brassy tarnish, um, but I'll check them and see. <clears throat> All right. So this is Moonstone. Very pretty. And this is also stamp 925. I will test it. There is a lot of this style of jewelry uh, circulating that is stamped 925, but it is actually not. And I, I do think that this is one of those pieces, but I will test and see. It will be listed appropriately in the auction. You can see there, that one signed there, 925. This is beautiful rainbow moon, moonstone. You can see that rainbow iridescence. I hope that they are sterling, of course, um, but we will see. <clears throat> I had a big mother of pearl necklace was to die for. All right, more rainbow moonstone. Again, mark 925, we'll test and see if I can stop dropping. Beautiful set. Look at this closure. That's fabulous. Fabulous closure. This is old. This is oldie. I would say this is Czech. This looks very Czech. This closure looks very Czechoslovakian. This is, pro this is crystal. I don't think jet. I don't think it's jet. That may be jet. That piece there may be jet. 
um, and, and I am very comfortable to say this is Chuck and so beautiful. I'll let it hang on a bus, that way it can get its form back. But I love this closure, super fancy um, and very pretty. And those stones are gorgeous. So, so pretty, not marked. <clears throat> Ooh, I see fire opal. Beautiful fire opal. That is definitely sterling. Then I've got a sterling chain here. Yep. Yep, marked in there. A beautiful fire opal. Fire opal is gorgeous. <clears throat> Have a silver tone bangle with some AB crystals. Oh, it's marked. I wasn't expecting that. I think it's Sorelli. No. Look at that. That's Givenchy. That is Givenchy. So pretty. I love it. Beautiful AB rhinestones. Wow, that's wonderful. So pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I see another pretty. Ooh, this is old. This is a oldie. These are glass. Look at these beautiful stones. This is old. You can tell by the closure. Look at these beautiful beads. All glass. Oh my word, this is beautiful. I love, I love, I love. Oh, wow. And they even sound pretty. All right. That was fun. Always love a little box. She taped it up good. very Sputnik kind of look to it. Ooh, this is beautiful. These are heavy um, crystals. So this has got to be sterling, I would imagine. Maybe not. I think I see. Let me look. No. It doesn't say sterling, but look at these. Beautiful. These are crystals. Faceted and beautiful. Very sharp. And has some age too. Gotta be careful pulling. All right, we have a sweet little brooch. Not seeing a signature. Oh, that's pretty. Nice little bow brooch. Have another little pretty brooch here. A little more modern. And then this beautiful Sputnik brooch. Oh my gosh. And it's not signed. I would definitely say this is Austrian. Maybe West Germany. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning with Austrian on this. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that construction. That's wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This feels rhodium plated. I don't know if it is or not. This is nice. This is the back. I'm not seeing a mark, but it's so nice. I think it's more modern. Could be wrong, but I'm gonna set that aside and see if I can find, um, find anything on it. Oh, so this matches that necklace same beautiful heavy crystals gosh they're nice i love that closure they're definitely vintage and that surprisingly there's no markings on that closure either so that's really interesting i'll look into those put this in my reuse pile 
Uh oh, I see some figure rolls. Figure rolls are always good. First up, we have this beautiful heart. She's cute. Oh, we have a gold wrapped or gold wiring. Oh, and it's signed Napier, a little hat pin. That's cute. This one looks more modern. And it is so cute. Look at the little guy. Everybody loves a frog, except my grandmother. My grandmother's terrified of him. She once killed a frog by her scream alone in the car. Note, that's not a joke. She actually killed a frog that had made it her way in the car while we were driving. And that poor frog died instantly. So we can tell this is a little fishy. Oh, that's sweet, little texturing. Let's look on the back here. A little hat. This is interesting. I almost thought it was a ring. It has that kind of, you know, style of like it was going to be a ring. Oh, look, we got a friend. So we've got, yeah, we've got a pair. How about that? They're not signed. They're really good quality. Um, and they're frogs, so they'll do good. Oh, yeah, we've got them matched there. Oops, there's a rhinestone. And then this, that looks very similar to the other brooch. And these are more modern. this. I'm wanting, I don't know who this is by, I'm wanting to say Crown Trafari. I could be wrong. I probably am. Let's see if we can find a marking together. Huh. I don't see a mark at all, but that's beautiful enamel work and it's in great shape. Definitely super, super vintage. The closure is still functioning in great shape. Let me pull it off to the side and look. Sometimes it's so hard to see through the camera. This is wonderful. I love that. All right, we have a gold tone chain. Let's see. Joan Rivers, all right. Nice Joan Rivers gold tone chain. So if you have a pendant that you'd like to add, definitely bookmark this video so that you can know when it goes to auction. Oh, this is beautiful. This is bright and I think, I think, I think I saw, yep, yeah, there's the B. Beautiful closure. Wonderful Brighton piece. Brighton is so pretty. And their jewelry is very, very well made. like we have a gold tone um so there's i forget who that is it's coro sarah coventry lisner i don't know it's one of the other obvious oh coro so that's what this tag is so this is a coro piece i do see there's a stone missing so i'll try to repair that um it's in very good shape the back is uh, very smooth, like it's plated, but that's beautiful. I'm going to set that in the lot pile for just for now um, and see if I can get a um, uh, stone to put in that. A new rhinestone. Ooh. This bag, somebody might want it, want that too. That's an old brand. Ooh, we gotta have a little druzy ring. You see that stamp there, 925 FAS. That's beautiful. Ooh. This is like an opalite ring. Really fancy cut on, on it as well. That's sign 925. I'll test it and and make sure, but that's really, really a beautiful cut. Um, stone. 
the light hitting. It's coming orange. I don't know where that orange is coming from. I have a blue shirt on. Ooh, more fire opal. And you can see here, this is signed also. I think it says 925. Let me check. Yep, 925. That's definitely uh, real sterling. And that's a beautiful fire opal. I love that deep yellow. I love it. Mmm. This is a pretty stone. I can't tell right away. Maybe it's amber. Remember, I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time with you guys. So I may think it looks like one thing and then when I get in my office, it's another. It actually, under my loop, kind of looks like Labradorite, but it is not. You see, oh yeah, it's much better. That might be some type of amber. I don't know if you can see really well, but that's an interesting ring and beautiful. Oh, here's Labradorite. Labradorite. And I'll definitely test this to make sure it's silver. But it's beautiful. I love you. Unfortunately, there is a lot of fake silver out there right now. Um, coming out of many, many countries. All right, so a hang tag with no maker on it. That's super helpful. Oh, it's just a smudge. So we have some, ooh, pretty art glass beads. Beautiful Millefiori. This is likely an artisan piece, but it's it's gorgeous. I wish they would have put their name on it. And this is interesting. Look at that huge lobster closure. So this is... Um, Definitely an artisan made piece. You have mixed type of, of beads. I believe this is um, magnesite that has been dyed green. Those are tiger eye. Very cool, very interesting piece. And then this one, that's definitely an old closure. Very brassy. And then you've got this beautiful these look like cloisonne, but they might be ceramic and they might be glass. Um, it's very hard to tell. I'll look under my brighter light in my office, but that's beautiful. It's definitely got age. Um, very, very pretty. Oh, I'm excited. The goodies keep coming. hang tag JS or TS I'm not sure who that is and not silver it doesn't look like but look at this beautiful Dalmatian Jasper oh that's so pretty beautiful gemstone so we've got a triple layer triple layer um, gemstone necklace so pretty <gasps> Looks like we have Lee Sands. Yes, we do. We have Lee Sands. Yes, yes, yes. With matched earrings. So this is a match set. And we have these stones here. That's probably a Venturine, Rose Quartz. So striking. And we have the earrings to go with it. That's great. Put these over here and I want them to get chipped. <clears throat> have some pearls so these are glass yeah, these are glass got a really fancy pretty closure I don't know that's not marked so these are um, a, a nice set of just glass pearls which are gorgeous and very luxurious 
hematite. Hematite, hematite. Oh, we have several. Oh, and we have a rogue lapis earring. I'll set that aside and see if we come across it. All right, so we have some hematite necklaces here. Very, very pretty. They make a beautiful sound. <clears throat> Beautiful. Another very large, chunky piece. That's probably sterling. And then look at this beautiful, I think the red coral. So pretty. And I'm pretty sure those are sterling spacers. I'll test them to find out. That's another artisan piece for sure. And this, let's see. Belk and Company, maybe pearls? It is. Ooh, these are beautiful. Let's look at the closure. Oh, that's so pretty. These are definitely genuine. Okay, you can see it is marked there. Let me see what it says. It says AJ on one side and nothing on the other. Um, but I do believe, I'm gonna have to really work on that clasp to clean it. I'm not sure, maybe it's signed down here. These are definitely genuine freshwater pearls, beautiful pearls. And ooh, looky here. These might be diamonds. Let's look at the back. Absolutely beautiful. It's like we're signed there. Let's see. Oh, so 14K. You see 14K and then you see 925. So it's a mix of gold and silver so i would probably safely say those are going to be diamonds but i will of course test them they'll be listed as what they are if they're diamonds they'll be listed as diamonds if they're not they won't be listed as diamonds these are pretty pretty i have a set of really actually I have two beautiful sets of pearls that my mom, who does not wear jewelry at all, surprisingly, she actually loves the pearls. So when she has to get dressed up once a year for her Christmas shindig in New York, she always wears my set of pearls that I've had in my store for years. They're an old, old set and they are clad with diamonds. I mean, just mm, gorgeous set, but they look perfect on her. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mila Fiori. That's the way to my heart. So I have this closure. Sometimes this closure can be sterling, sometimes not, but it does not matter. Look at these. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Beautiful. Beautiful Mila Fiori glass beads. That's stunning. Already in love. Ooh, I'm in love more. Ooh. Oh, we got another rogue. Oh, no, we don't. These aren't rogue. These are matched. So these are screwbacks. You can see they're signed. They're the little scarabs. So you can see they're signed. So that's going to be a 12 karat gold field, I believe. 120th. Yep, so 12 karat gold filled. So you can see their little scarabs. Um, those are gonna be glass. And in fact, this one is probably going to be UV reactive, the, the red one, the reddish one. Those are uh, a nice old set. But let's look at this beautiful thermoset. So this here is called thermoset. So this has a lot going on. We have enameling, we have ther thermoset, we have AB uh, rhinestones, 
and everything is in striking condition. I mean, just beautiful. I think this is Coro. I could, I could be wrong. Look at the back, it's in great, great shape. So it's not signed, but I'm definitely thinking it's Coro. It looks like there's a matching bracelet, so we'll check. But this is stunning. I've not ever seen one like that before. Well, let's see, so not signed there. So it looks like this is the matching bracelet. And again, same enameling, the thermoset, and the AB rhinestones, and in very good shape. This enamel has virtually no loss that I can see, and so smooth in the back, and that is very telltale of coral. So I did move my charger around a little bit so I won't hit the camera incessantly. We've got a barrel closure and looks like we have that is not rose quartz but that is quartz and definitely amethyst with some brass spacers freezing cold and beautiful okay i want to keep these bags them here hmm what do we have here what are you what are you? What are you? Oh my word, what do we have going on here? Okay, so let's clip you in there. <laughs> so these look like they were button covers. So we have the brooch and then the little thingies that go with it. Look how fabulous is that? Oh my gosh. I'm in love. Look at that. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And if I had my um, bust here, we would display it. And see how it dangles, um, dangles down. Super versatile and so pretty. It might be um, a reclaimed a set. I don't know, but I don't care if it's reclaimed or not. I love it. Unusual. Ooh, I see pretty beads. I see pretty beads. So we have a triple layer necklace. Here's the closure. It's not gonna be set in sterling. These are glass. This is a faux turquoise. These are very pretty. Very, very pretty. Mm. This is stunning. This is not amethyst. This might be a purple jade, but this is definitely not amethyst. Yeah, I'm thinking this might be a purple jade. This is beautiful. I love the variations here in the in the beads. And it's icy cold. This is definitely a gemstone. And you can do anything with this head. It looks like you could even wear it as a bracelet. You can layer, you can do whatever you want. But freezing cold, great condition. And beautiful. So we have a set of earrings. Looks like a little bit of Dalmatian Jasper. I think this might go. Yes, it will match. Um, let's see, get you off of my display. Yeah, so it goes with this. So they have, these beads don't match exactly, but with that um, Dalmatian Jasper, um, I think they'll pair nicely. Put that over there with it. So here's this piece. Hmm. Not seeing a mark. I don't think it's silver. 
as in sterling. It's definitely a silver tone. And I'm kind of thinking it's modern. Yeah, it's definitely a modern or it would have a foil back. But it's pretty and chunky. Let's do another dive. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, there's a big red box in here. I wonder what's in it. Oh, I can't resist a box. Dad gummit. I'm pulling it out. <laughs> I'm such a child. Ooh. Oh no. It's all stuck. Oops. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, this is an oldie for sure. It's an old rhinestone brooch with those sort of dangled pieces hanging that way. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Little angel pen. And she is signed. I can't see what she says. There we go. Interesting. So pretty. Ooh. So this is a modern brooch, but it doesn't matter. That's stunning. Ooh, a little tennis bracelet. Not signed. A little tennis bracelet with some rhinestone, it looks like. This is gold tone. Let me open it and just see if I see a marking of any kind. I'm excited to look at those. Okay, I'm not seeing any markings. So this is just a nice costume piece. Stones are a little dark, but I think it might just be the camera. Because when I get to my office with these, I'm like, wow, this looks so different, oh, you know, in, in, in my YouTube room. Um, and this is interesting. That's old. Look at that closure. You don't see that much. This is an old, old, oldie. This is very Native American. I would might even say Zuni. That's going to be sterling. I can guarantee you that's sterling. It's like there might be a mark or something there. Yeah, it's stamped 1,000. No, maybe I can get you in. See that? Stamped 1,000. So, it's beautiful. And I love that turquoise around the outside. That piece is special. Ooh. Ooh, look how these earrings are set with that silver. So this is just some residue from the box. They're not damaged. Um, but look how they're set with those beautiful, um, sort of Bali texturing. So pretty. And those are genuine pearl pieces. And then this is definitely going to be sterling. Yep. There's the mark. Beautiful closure and beautiful strung, um, pearls. Oi. Um, I'm going to leave this in this box. So. The box is starting to disintegrate on the inside, so some stuff has come off, but I'll clean them, but I'm going to do them at my office where all my equipment's at. I love it. I like it too much. So we have an open filigree uh, ring. This is definitely got to be sterling. I would be very surprised if it is not. Yeah, there's the mark right in there. You can see that mark right inside of here. My fat finger will get out of the way right there. Beautiful. I'll polish that sucker up and make it look good as new. Ooh, another fire opal ring. Look how pretty. This one I'll just clean. I probably won't polish because some people love that patinaed look. And this is definitely sterling, probably Israeli. Um, 
could be wrong, but I, it might be Israeli. It's definitely going to be sterling. That is beautiful. Those might not be fire opals. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes. Look how pretty. So stunning. Oh, 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 oh. Now, see, I said I wasn't going to bump the camera. I moved my charger, and what do I do? I bump the camera. Go figure. All right, this has a zip tie. So it must be something good, huh? I'm in love with everything so far. All right, so we're marked inside of there. A-T-I-B-R China. So this may not be silver, but that's okay. It's still very pretty. I'll test it and see what I come up with. And we have this beauty. This is an oldie here. It's signed right in there. Let me look. Um, so it's signed 14K, but I don't think that it is 14K. So from here, it kind of looks like it, but that setting, the setting is unusual. And then see where the 14K is at here. It's kind of hard to see, but around it is a lot of peeling. Um, so I'll test this and it could be that it is just that old and really needs a good cleaning. Um, so I could be definitely wrong, but anything that is signed, you know, 14 K or, or nine two five, we always, always test it to, to make sure. So either way, it's a gorgeous ring. It's another one with a zip tie. Well, this is a pretty ring and it's signed. You can see what that says. I cannot. That's UTC 925. So that's a beauty. That's a beautiful ring. Oh, I like this too. So that has a signature there. Let me look. Mm. I think it's one of those HGE rings, high gold electroplate. Um, I'll look at it under closer microscope. It's very pretty. I like it. Very different. Mm. What do we have here? Ooh, I like the looks of this. Is this Joan? No. This is a very substantial piece. Very nice. Okay. Don't know who that is. But this is a good quality piece. That's for sure. So here's the hang tag. If anybody knows... Just drop it in the comments. Let's see the back. This is really well made. Really, really well made. And beautiful. Those are definitely glass. Really, really striking. So if you know who that hang tag is, drop drop a note in the comments, please. A box in a box. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy schmancy. Those are interesting. Cute little rhinestone and sequin earrings. We have some disco ball type earrings. Oh, hello. How fun. Very good shape. They don't appear to be marked. I will, of course, take these off and clean, clean that area up. I'm not seeing any marks, but these are fun. 
These are definitely a fun set. Ooh. Again, oh, look at these. Look at the settings here and these rhinestones on the top. Beautiful set, uh, settings. Gosh, those are nice. These are glass. You hear that? That's glass. Very pretty. Not signed. I'll clean all that earring backing business off of there. Oh, another fun box. I will use it. Here's the closure, nice snake chain. And then we have this cute little piece. Oh, and it's signed. That's a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be signed. So it says, that's either MM or WW, let me see. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be MM or WW, but there it is. If you know who this is, drop it in the comments. I'm going to set it aside, and I will try to figure it out, too. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These are an artisan-made set for sure. That's going to be sterling, and look how gorgeous absolutely gorgeous some people call these blister pearls they're not blister pearls in my opinion they're just mother of pearl shell pieces occasionally you'll see like a pearl stuck in one and when you do it might sell for quite a bit of money i had a set a while back years and years ago actually um this is so 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 pretty and even sounds pretty and you can tell that hardware is definitely silver. Of course, it'll be tested, but I like, I like. What a fun box. All right. So that's Gorge. Very well made. No marking. It is definitely more on the modern side. But look at that, that's so pretty. Very different. Do I spy brooches? Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that gold tone deliciousness. Mm. And it's not marked, I hate that. I hate when people don't mark their jewelry, especially when it's something, you know, that's, that's nice and pleasant. I love this. Beautiful piece. Oh, little jelly belly. Little jelly belly elephant. Oh, it's KJL. Look at that, KJL, that's Kenneth J. Lane. Has an adapter pendant here. Oh, he's cute. He's super cute. This is interesting. Huh. Now this is some sort of crystal with either, this is either Tibetan silver or possibly sterling. A nice pendant. So this is super versatile. A man could wear it, a woman could wear it, kid could wear it. Um, I'll test the metal and, and try and figure out who, uh, what type of purity it is, if it is a purity at all. Let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. And I'll show the empty box. Oops. So I empty the box. Put this over here. We still have a big pile to go through, but I wanted to move that box so it doesn't block the light any more than my big arm is. All right, so this is in a sleeve. Ooh, she's gorgeous. Look at her. Perfect, perfect shape. I don't know. It's like maybe it was $10. Um, I don't see a mark, but I wanna peel that away because maybe there's a mark there. <clears throat> Ow. 
Okay, so here's the back. It's so well made. Again, I hate when people don't send their jewelry, especially a well made piece. So anyhow, it is a beautiful figure. So it can join the auction party. I see you, Heidi Doss bags. I'm gonna control myself and put the last. Ooh, this is an oldie. That barrel closure. You have this carnelian agate, little um, brass spacer beads. So very pretty. This is an old set and um, it's super mid-century uh, in look and in feel. Maybe even kind of boho. Get these bags down here. Ooh. Something has come unstrung. Not sure where, what, when, how. Uh, I'll look into it. The $29.99, it looks like it's New York and Company, maybe? Let's see. I don't think that closure is silver. It's hard to tell. It's a little dirty right there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there's schmutz on the closer it actually is sterling and look at this beautiful coral oh and there's a hang tag yep 925 so this is beautiful i don't know what this is it's worrying me that it's something's come unstrung um yeah it's beginning to become unstrung i hate that but i'll see what i can do with it that's beautiful. I'm going to actually set it over here so it doesn't tangle. Oh, here's a beauty. Pretty little closure. No signs. And we have these beautiful beads. That looks like jade or jadeite. Could very possibly be. It's a little too light for a venturine. Or at least that's the way it looks right now. But that's so pretty. Mm. You know anything green I love? That's probably a sterling closure. And then we have these beautiful beads and then these chunky things here that I love. I love the green. I love that bead too. Hmm. Not sure what type of stone this is, but I will figure it out. I will figure it out. That's lovely. I'm dancing all around the Heidi Doss bags that are right here. Let me put them here. Heidi Doss. I think this is Heidi Doss. I'll put those right here for last. I love Heidi Doss. Her, there's so much of her stuff right now. The market is kind of flooded, um, but the people I have met here on YouTube have some unusual pieces. So I've been getting stuff that a lot of other people don't have. Ooh, these are genuine. Now, I wasn't expecting this. These are real. And these are beautiful, huge monsters. Look at that. Those are genuine. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. This closure might be gold. I would be very surprised if it's not. Yeah, that's gold. I'm pretty sure. Good Lord. <gasps> It says, what do you says? Huh, 120th, 14K, that's okay. And so it's a gold plated, but look at those beauties, hand knotted. Those are freshwater pearls, so big, 
so luxurious. Very champagne. These are not like wedding white pearls. These are like a champagne. And they're just beautiful. And they're they're definitely old. A little box. Mm. Oh my word. Just from the back alone. Oh, is that Weiss? Mm, does that say Weiss? This expensive phone, I swear. Yeah, it says Weiss, W-E-I-S-S. -S. I want my iPhone X back. Ooh, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous brooch. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. I've never seen one with this backing. This is special and this is rhodium plated. I feel it. And so it came in a Jacquemel um, box. It's not Jacquemel, but that's a good box to keep it safe. Ooh, I see Damascene. Damascene, Damascene. I love Damascene. Beautiful Damascene pendant. These are all usually from Spain. Sometimes you'll find uh, made in Italy. It's definitely old, er, vintage. Beautiful Damascene. So lovely. Ooh, and then here we have some art glass beads. And you can see there it's Mark Sterling. So this is a wedding cake bead. So this is definitely Italian. Maybe Christmas themed. It kind of reminds me of a Christmas tree. So pretty. Beautiful. I love that wedding cake bead. Mmm. Always gotta check the back first. That's how I roll. Okay, doesn't look signed. But those are gorge. Very, very nice set. Ooh. I see a beauty. Come to daddy. Look at this. It probably says made in Italy. Or it says absolutely nothing. Am I seeing things? I have to get my eyes checked. Actually, I'm not seeing things. It's just very hard to see what it says. There is some writing there, but look at this beautiful micro mosaic brooch. And all the little terrace pieces are there. Look at that. Oh, this is skill. This stuff should go for hundreds of dollars. As much work that has had to go that had to go into this, it should it should go for hundreds, but it doesn't. And I wish I knew what that says, but I will figure it out. This old chain, silver tone. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her. Mm -hmm. And then a beautiful, huge cloisonne. This is old. This is an oldie. Beautiful cloisonne. Um, pendant necklace. And we have a smaller pendant cloisonne. Equally as old. And then this. This has definitely got a little bit of age. I don't think. Okay, there we go. It is missing the safety chain, but that's okay because they're very rarely. Um, it, it's kind of hard to find one with the chains attached. So no signature, but that enameling is just beautiful. And it's hummingbirds, huh? I think it's a hummingbird, Lord. My eyes are starting to go. <laughs> so here we go. I'm not seeing a mark. That is A-OK, -okay, because it's gorgeous on its own. I am so happy. I love to see everyone's jewelry. I get excited over everything. All right, so we have this long very long like faux coin dangle necklace and it's joan rivers how about that i 
think that's what it says. Yep. There's Joan Rivers. There we go. Very, very long. You can layer with this. This is definitely sweater length. Um, actually longer than sweater length, that's for sure. And then you've got these beautiful faux coins that are dangling. Just stunning. Love it, love it. Oh, we have some tape. I'm going to cut it up. is I don't think that's supposed to be there look at this old this sucker is ancient it's not ancient but it is very very old you can tell by the bell this is beautiful filigree work almost kind of like a rosary but not and look at that closure that is so old so so old this is probably very, very late 1800s. I'm not sure what this thing is. I don't know what purpose, unless uh, something fell out. I don't know. That looks like a piece of amber. <laughs> it's odd. But it, it it's kind of translucent. It, I thought glue at first, but it's not. But my God, look at that. I mean, it is got something there. 950. 950. So that's even better than sterling. That's um about as pure as you're gonna get. Look at this. Oh my word. I love it. I love it. I love it. It looks like one of the little rivet things is missing here. I don't know. It is so unusual. I need to stop uh going on and on about it. I love it so. Ooh, the little teapot charm. And I'm pretty sure it's sterling. It's a sterling pendant and it opens somehow. The jewelry police will come after me if I do it on camera and do it wrong. So I'm gonna just open it myself off camera. Well, I can't figure it out. I'll look at it closer, but that's sterling for sure. So unique. Oh my word, that's unique. Mmm. What is this? That's definitely sterling. That's a moonstone. I think rainbow moonstone. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the rainbowing in there. But what is this? What is what is it? What is your purpose in life? What's going on here? Back here. Oh, so this lifts up and does what? OMG. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of Etruscan. Oh my word. Oh wow. I'm fascinated right now. I am just absolutely fascinated by this. How unusual. I need to know everything about it. <laughs> All right. So, we have 925AU. Those are very pretty, very dainty. Love it. We have some etched teardrop. 
earrings. Those are definitely sterling and definitely old. And then it looks like some little marcasite earrings. Nine two five ATI. So some huggy hoops with marcasite. Oh, that was fun. <coughs> I am so intrigued. Mm. Having to stay super hydrated, my throat's dry. Mm. Okay, that's beautiful. Look at this. Those are some really satiny blue stones. Nice construction. I don't think it's super old. I don't see a maker's mark. I'm going to set this one aside for now and do some more research on it. All right, it says Nordstrom. Ooh. Now, if that's not Heidi, I don't know what is. Yep. Very classic Heidi. Beautiful clamper bracelet. Very good mechanism is like, this is like never worn. Let's check the stones. None are missing. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll set it over here so I don't bang it against anything. We have a couple more little Heidi Doss bags here. Well, I don't know that this is Heidi Doss. Oh, it says Swarovski. Swarovski. <gasps> Oh, this is an oldie antique. Oh my gosh, I just sold a set like this, but in more of a, was like a dark champagne. These are antique beads. Milk glass, but then look at these true antique wedding cake beads. I mean, this is fantastic. There was a day 15, 20 years ago where we could get two and three hundred dollars for these. Now we can get around a hundred, but they're becoming harder and harder to find. This is true, true wedding cake beads in very old milk glass, and that barrel closure just proves the age. That's stunning. Stunning, stunning. Put those aside too so they don't get hurt. <clears throat> in our final pouch. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. All right, let's see what we've got. Ooh. Alrighty, looks like we have some alpaca. Some alpaca earrings with some inlay. We have some clip-ons. Now, I know that these are Weiss. They may not be signed, but I have sold a brooch that matches this. That was Weiss. So these are definitely Weiss. Dana, when you watch this, confirm, confirm me, please. Um, it looks like maybe there was a cartouche here, but I sold maybe a year ago a brooch that looked just like this. Beautiful. Ooh, I like these. I like this construction on the back. Huh. And they're not marked. Look at those. Beautiful rhinestone clips. All right. So these are more modern, a gunmetal with this sort of shimmery ruby um, color. These have some running. Nolan Miller. Always timeless. Beautiful silver tone crystal baguette earrings. Oh. Now these suckers are beautiful. They look like Givenchy. Or Dior. Don't tell me they're not signed. Yeah, they're not signed. They're not signed. Not even a patent number to go off of. Uh they kind of also remind me of St. John, but without a marking. Oh my goodness, look, just beautiful. Whoops, just beautiful. 
And I'll clean them up and try to buff out those spots. So some very old screw backs. A very pretty blue. <clears throat> right, this is silver tone. I think I saw this is going to be Gloria Vanderbilt. Yep. This is Gloria Vanderbilt. Silver tone with these different textured um, stations with uh, little balls. Very pretty piece for sure. Whoops. Very pretty. Very interesting construction. Oh, it's signed Avon. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Very nicely made by Avon. Look how nice this is. Don't, I mean, Avon jewelry, there's not much of a market unless it's by one of the specialized designers, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna run it and see what happens. And I ain't gonna let those cheap do it. All right. If you can't tell, I'm having fun here. Beautiful brooch, beautiful construction. Has an adapter here to be worn as a pendant, and look at that. So striking. Very, very pretty. And last but not least, a bag of brooches. What a way to end it. We all know how much I love the brooches. Let's start here. Ooh, this is an old old Coro. Look at that. Look how awesome. That is so edgy. I love it. I'm a little confused by this mark. I don't know that it is actually old after I just said that. That's, I'm very confused. But it's beautiful and I love it. This one is more modern, but it's gorge. Look at that. A couple more. So no markings here. Oh, she's sweet. Lady with a little kitty. We'll try her. And ooh, a beautiful antique cameo. You can tell this is old just by the closure, probably gold filled. And oh yeah, she's a winner. She's got some chipping, but that's expected with age. And looks like we have one more guy Ava Simon. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. I've never heard of this designer, but I can tell it's nice. Oh boy. This is a stunner. Oh my gosh. What a way to end this video. My, this, this has been a really fun. All of my consigner videos are amazing. Um, if you guys are interested in consigning with me, please reach out. My contact information is linked below. If you are interested in anything you saw in this video, my contact, I mean my auction link is also um, in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you.